Of course, traditional Irish music is an important part of Irish culture. It's known all over the world and traditional music sessions attract tourists here in their droves. Recently in Boris in County Carlow, a group of young people from all over Ireland gathered to celebrate traditional Irish music making and reporter Helen McInerney went along. During the school midterm break, upwards of 100 young people from different parts of the country travelled here to Boris in County Carlow to take part in a music gathering known as the Music at Mount Leinster Festival of Traditional Irish Music. Now in its fifth year, the event is funded by Music Generation Ireland and is held in the local vocational school. Music Generation is a national music education programme. Its stated aim is to transform the lives of children and young people in Ireland through access to high quality performance music education. The group behind this Carlow initiative saw the Mount Leinster Festival gathering as County Carlow's way of supporting the Music Generation concept. So our school, we have, we have a lot of interest in music and obviously the day-to-day -day school in the curriculum, you don't get to um, have lessons going on, you don't get to bring a festival because we're so busy, schools are such busy places. So this was to, it wasn't in any way to supplement what we're doing, that's really important to say. We saw that the community spirit here is fantastic and we saw that this would be a perfect match for the, this new model that emerged called Music Generation, which everybody seemed to just say that's absolutely perfect for our county. And from the outset we realised that we can actually have a say in how this um, is formulated. So it was, it, we, it was a bespoke approach, every county gets to, to look at where the access is needed, where the, the gaps are, um, what genres, um, what buildings are available, what personnel are on the ground, that sort of thing. So we worked to our strengths. Initiated by Music Network, Music Generation is co-funded by U2, the Ireland Funds, the Department of Education and Skills and local music education partnerships. The belief is that music transforms lives. Um, I originally started on the fiddle but then started exploring with other instruments and picking up other little techniques and coming to these festivals has really helped with that because you learn from some of the best musicians in the country and uh, it really helps to build your repertoire in tunes and also in technique. I'd love to study it in college and hopefully teach it to younger people and bring on the next generation of musicians. Music on Mount Leinster, it's a trad traditional music festival and um, I got into it, my teacher uh, told me in class, in school, uh, he asked me if I'd like to try it out because I'm only, I'm only starting the traditional music there like a couple of weeks ago and I, I really need to get it, I'm really trying to get into it and stuff now. I, I decided to throw myself into the deep end and give it a go. Are you enjoying it? I'm loving it, yeah. It's great crack. I play the fiddle and I'm part of Relay. Um, I think it's a really good festival to get involved in. There's so many amazing tutors from all around the world, really, and it's such good opportunities for young people to like, bring on their playing and to improve their playing. There's a bit of fun as well? Yeah, lots of fun. Making good friends from yeah. all over the country? Yeah, and boosting your confidence as well. County tailors the programme to suit their specific needs. The programme is delivered through both primary and secondary schools, but the highlight for these young musicians who have the programme in their school is the annual Music at Mount Leinster event. It allows them to showcase their musical skills and to forge musical partnerships across the counties.
within three years, it will be in every county in the country. So every county will have their own programme. Music Generation is different for every county. It has its own stamp. Each county will have programmes that the next county might not. There might be a little bit of overlap, but each county will have its own identity within, within the Music Generation landscape. Try that line for a sec. Okay. We need it because every child right, deserves ready? the right to music we'll education. We're performance based, which means that we're not... We're, we're trying to introduce everyone to the idea that music should be inclusive, we're making it accessible, and the, the aspect of music that we're given is performance-led, which means that we have lots of ensembles, we have group tuition. We try and bring it into full class environments that maybe never had that chance before. Music Generation Nationally is funded by U2, the Ireland's Funds and the Department of Education and Skills. At Music Generation Carlow, we are locally funded by Kilkenny and Carlow Education and Training Board and our local authority, Carlow County Council. When Music Generation uh, was, when we could apply for it as a county, we uh, applied and this school was one of the, uh, was represented here and uh, we were involved in the committee that got Music Generation to Carlow and we identified South Carlow then as an area that needed something. Um, we had music in school and we had a lot of interest in traditional music particularly, but not a lot of provision and definitely there was an opening for something in the region. OK, so very quickly, what I want to do is the last 30 seconds again, but this time a bit more clarity and a bit more um, focus on those counter melodies. OK, so fiddles, make sure you have them, but don't overpower the flutes. Students are after arriving from all over the country to work with visiting professional musicians. So they're here working in groups and um, they're in small group ensembles with a variety of instruments in every group and they're working with different musicians. Uh, like we're very lucky we've got Michael Rooney here working, he's working with a group from County Leash. Um, we've also got James Mahon who's working with a group from Mayo. We also have musician David Lombardi, who came from Italy to Glasgow and is here in Boris working with musicians from County Carlow as well. What they're doing is they're working with extremely professional musicians in a, a very intense capacity. They're working all day, every day, um, improving their ensemble work and they're working all the time as groups and developing their ensemble playing technique. A quick reminder of our competition now and your very last chance to win a whopping 5,000 euro 